Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Fire ripped through two homes this afternoon in Port, Car Port Carbon, and that's just outside Pottsville. Fire crews were originally called for a brush fire that was imposing on a house, and that was quickly upgraded to a working house fire. Crews from throughout Schuylkill County were called to help bring the fire under control on Market Street. There was heavy fire on the initial. Uh, made, in, made entry. Uh, got some units here. We had to set up defensive at uh, one point. Uh, we had some obstacles uh, with water, uh, water main break here in town. And we had to call in extra companies to help battle it. Catching that one on fire as well. At one point, the fire chief pulled all firefighters out of the home and attacked the fire from the outside. The American Red Cross also called in to help the family of four adults and two children that were displaced. A fire marshal has been called to investigate the fire. One firefighter was treated for an ankle injury. A crash this morning shut down Community Park Road in Hazel Township. The one car crash happened just before 11. Crews say the SUV left the parking lot of the Nissan dealership, drove over two deep gullies and rolled across the road. The female driver had to be assisted out of the car by firefighters from Hazel Township. She was taken by APTS EMS to the hospital. State police are at Hazelton are investigating the crash in Hazel Township. A woman from Wilkesbury was charged with felony counts of endangering the welfare of children after four children who were residing with her were interviewed at the Child Advocacy Center. The children told authorities that 33-year-old Shannon Schaefer allegedly beat them and forced them to drink toilet water while living with her at a home on Spruce Street. The abuse was alleged to have happened between March 2009 and December 2011. The children also alleged they were deprived of food and forced to steal from a store. Schaefer is also being charged with corruption of minors, assault, endangering another person, and harassment. Her bail set at $50,000. Two people from Luzerne County waived their rights to preliminary hearings in an animal abuse case. Former dog breeders, 71-year-old John Dancho of Freeland and 56-year-old Michelle Starkey of Weatherly, were originally charged with 130 offenses each. They allegedly left nearly a dozen dogs outside in below freezing temperatures at a breeding facility in Cunningham Township. Police responded to Pond Hill Short Hairs back on December 31st and took both Dancho and Starkey into custody. Dancho faces charges for animal cruelty and neglect of animals for veterinary care. Starkey faces two counts of animal neglect. Both are awaiting formal arrangements. Numerous members of the Wilkes-Barre Area School Board are calling for the resignation of Ned Evans after he made inappropriate comments on social media. Evans made an off-color comment on Facebook about a teacher in Arizona who was charged for having a sexual relationship with a 13-year-old student. Evans apologized and said that he will remain on the board. Several other school board members have made personal pleas for him to resign. The district superintendent also sent out a statement condemning Evans's actions and demanded his resignation. We have an update on a story that we brought you on Tuesday. Fire officials now know what caused a house fire in Berwick. According to the Berwick fire chief, two boys were playing with a lighter and burning paper before they went to bed. They thought they stomped out the fire, but it rekindled and made its way to a gas can. The family who lived in the house on Fair Street in Berwick got out okay with their pets when flames sparked. It happened just after one Tuesday morning. The house was destroyed. The Red Cross is helping that family with a place to stay. 
Electricity was restored to UGI customers. The power went out around 7 o'clock this morning to over 8,000 customers. A transmission line went out, leaving some from the back mountain to the west side of Luzerne County without power for part of the morning commute. It also affected traffic signals as well. New DPW trucks are coming to the city of Hazleton thanks to a vote at last night's city council meeting. WILN's Gary Perna has more. Hazleton's aging DPW vehicle fleet is getting a $794,000 upgrade. That's after city council passed a resolution Wednesday night by a vote of 3 to 2. The city plans to use state liquid fuel funds to pay for the vehicles through 2025. I'm in favor of the trucks because, I mean, we have an antiquated uh, truck system. I mean, in the winter, we get a storm, we have, we have trucks down, we have private contractors coming in to help out at over, over $100 an hour. I think we're in badly need of trucks, and I think in the long run, and I also discussed it with the state, because we're, we're in Act 47, as well as Pell, about the long-term effect of it, and I do think that it, it, it's something necessary. To Council President Robert Gavio was among the majority to approve the purchase. Council Vice President Allison Barletta and Councilwoman Jean Mope voted no on the plan because they said they only received information on the purchase minutes before the meeting happened. Barletta saying council should have been looped in months before. The city will enter into a lease purchase agreement for two 2018 F550 dump trucks with plows two 2018 Freightliner dump trucks, they were the bigger trucks, with plows, one street sweeper, and one case backhaul. Although it, it's a lease program, I think just looking at the condition of our trucks, and like I said, we did talk to the state, because we're in Act 47. We actually did, I, I talked to them several times on the lease purchase agreement, and they sort of seemed to think that, you know, the long run term, it, 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 we, it was okayed by them, so hopefully, you know, we get we you know, we had raised taxes. I think our taxpayers want to see something done. From 2019 to 2025, the city will use $130,468.62 out of liquid fuels money to pay for the six new vehicles. Trees should be plowed. I think it, it, the cost should be less. I mean, you know, there's so many times you can fix a truck, and then. It's, it's, it's just doesn't work. And when you have a heavy snowstorm, you got to realize what we're, we have a heavy snowstorm. I mean, just for the safety, ambulances to get through, police to come through. If we're not cleaning properly and in time, people could lose a day of pay at work. They can't get out to, to work. So I think the buying of the new truck, were, the new trucks were a good thing. And hopefully, I mean, I do agree with that. Hopefully we're on the string of, of updating equipment as it's needed. In Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. Coming up on WYLN News, WYLN's Julia Wiegand takes us to where ground was broken today for a new hospital. Plus, the state's rainy day fund is growing. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Partly cloudy overnight with a low of 56. Partly cloudy tomorrow, 83 for the high. Saturday, partly cloudy and 87. We'll be right back. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the whole crew's invited, where fans become friends, where good times roll, and the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends, bring your family, just bring it, Pocono style. Physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical.
Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. It's official, the borough of Mahanoy City is without a police chief once again. Borough Council accepted the resignation of Chief of Police Ken Zapofsky this week. Zapofsky was only the chief in Mahanoy City for 10 months. He's leaving the borough to be the chief in Rush Township. Before going to work in Mahanoy City, Zapofsky was Hazelton Police Department's first lieutenant. Since June, Zapofsky has been playing dual roles as chief in both Rush and Mahanoy City. Borough Council appointed patrolman Thomas Rinscheller as the officer in charge for now. An expansion is coming to Sugarloaf Township after supervisors approved the final plans on Tuesday. The strip mall next to the Laurel Mall will be seeing some renovations along with a brand new coffee shop. Aldi's grocery store will be adding over 6,000 feet to the existing 15,000 square foot store. Starbucks also plans to set up shop at the location. Sugarloaf Township supervisors also gave the thumbs up for land development plans for a retail facility next to Damon's Restaurant on Route 93. St. Luke's University Health Network and Geisinger broke ground today on a new hospital in southern Schuylkill County, making history in the Commonwealth. Our Julia Wiegand was there and has more. St. Luke's University Health Network in Geisinger officially broke ground today on a new acute care hospital near Orwigsburg in southern Schuylkill County. The new Geisinger St. Luke's Hospital, built with American Steel, will be a fully licensed 80-bed hospital with an emergency department and a full range of specialties and services. The three-story, 120,000-square-foot facility will stand where the Old Deer Lake Drive-In Theater opened 62 years ago and stood for 40. Geisinger does not have a, a hospital facility in this area, and neither does St. Luke's, and so this market um, doesn't need a, a, a huge facility, but it needs something to support the inpatient care that's, that's in this area. By teaming up, we are able to provide that in a higher quality and lower cost model. It's the first time in Pennsylvania history that two healthcare systems have agreed to build and equally co-own a new hospital. The new hospital will operate under SLUHN and Geisinger as a joint venture with funding and governance shared equally between the two nonprofit health systems. Bethlehem-based St. Luke's will build and manage the hospital, while SLUHN and Geisinger in Danville will both contribute physicians and specialty support staff and expertise. Right now we have, we're providing over 200 construction jobs as we're building facility, but as we work to hire the staff, it does slowly ramp up. So we'll be starting with approximately 200 uh, new uh, positions here available for the residents of Schuylkill County and surrounding areas. So that's really exciting. You know, being from here to see new jobs being created, being part of that whole process, really exciting. The new hospital will be located on Paramount Boulevard off Route 61 in West Brunswick Township. Its expected completion and opening is fall of 2019. Reporting from Oryxburg for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. The city of Hazleton and the borough of West Pittston received grant funding under the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation's Green Light Go program. The city of Hazleton will receive just over $180,000 for complete modernization of the traffic signal at Church Street, State Route 309, and 5th Street. West Pittston Borough will receive over $460,000 for completely modernizing two traffic signals at Wyoming Avenue, U.S. Route 11, Luzerne Ave, and U.S. Route 11, Montgomery Ave. Senator John Udichak worked along with Representatives Tara Tuhill and Aaron Coffer to secure fundings for the projects. Today, Governor Tom Wolf announced that the state moved money into its rainy day fund for the first time in over a decade. Governor Wolf and Treasurer Joe Torcella announced a $22 million deposit was made into the state's rainy day fund. The rainy day fund reserve is a sign of both fiscal responsibility and the possibility of maintaining fiscal health, which can result in higher bond ratings. 
In a release from the governor's office, it says the governor has eliminated more than $2 billion in general fund costs as part of his 2017-18 budget. Efforts focused on reducing the size of the state's workforce complement to the lowest level in decades, downsizing facilities, consolidating agencies, and merging HR and IT across all state agencies. That resulted in total reoccurring savings of $2.2 billion. Coming up on Ginther's News Choice, we're getting ready for the farmer's market in Hazleton in Community and You. Plus, the new Luzerne County website is up and running. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. singing for joy the CD by the Sisters of Holy Annunciation Monastery can be yours for just $13, which includes shipping and tax. Mail a check to Holy Annunciation Monastery, 430 West County Road in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, or call 570-788-1205. This 10-song CD can be yours for just $13. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. Attention, WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507, and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. WYLN TV 35 is looking to hire a highly motivated, energetic salesperson for the Hazleton, Wilkes-Barre, and surrounding areas. Send your resume to the email or the address on your screen. WYLN is an equal opportunity employer. Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN, everyone. I'm Gary Perrin. I'm very pleased to have with me Mary Malone, the president of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce. And we are talking about today the annual downtown Hazleton's Farmer's Market, which will be kicking off soon. And Mary, I can't believe we are already talking about the Farmer's Market, which means we are almost halfway through summer. I know. <laughs> but like with this beautiful day on location, so it's a great thing. So the harvest of our area and all of the great fresh vegetables, and food so it will kick off every Friday from July 13th all the way through to September from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in downtown Hazleton right at City Park there on the corner of Broad and Laurel. And, and this is great you know we've been talking about before we started the taping about how many years this has been going on and, and we, we're already into this almost a, a half a little over a half a dozen years that the, the farmers market's been going on and this is a great opportunity for people not only who live in the city maybe you work in the city or travel through it to stop and get some of that fresh fruits and vegetables that you may drive by and you don't think of it but it's all produced right here locally in the greater Hazleton area. It is and we will have coming back with us this year the nutritionists and the team from the Commission on Economic Opportunity giving ideas and recipes with those fruits and vegetables that are available from the farmers. We also have some baked goods, some honey uh, that is locally um, done as well. So it really is a fun time and new this year. Each each week in the eight or nine week series that we have, we're going to have different health providers and vendors visiting us. So maybe a blood pressure screening, uh, back screening,
screening, eye screening, those kind of things. All in that 10 to 2. So come have your lunch with us in the summertime, downtown Hazleton. I know we, we frequent that a lot sometimes in the summer where we uh, we grab Mary to do an interview and then it just happens to be on a Friday and just happens <laughs> to be when the farmer's market's going on. But again, this is the great thing. And also, you know, it gets people outside. It gets people talking and you can see some of the produ produce grown right here. But also having a CEO here and providing some of those tips because we learned of a couple of recipes last year that were pretty good and, and that, uh, we try all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes, you know, you need to get out of the, the rut of doing the same old thing. So to come on down, it's right at the corner, like I said, on Broad and Church Street. There's usually a couple of spaces there uh, that thanks to the, the city uh, is free for parking to, to pull in and do that. As well, you can see some of the updates happening with the Broad and Barrel and the Art Center. So lots happening. Come on down to downtown Hazleton for the Farmer's Market. Wonderful luck going on. Of course, Farmer's Market starts on Friday, July 13th uh, in downtown Hazleton, and it will run throughout the summer into September. And of course, all that's going on at City Park in downtown Hazleton, right on Broad Street. Thanks for joining us on Community and You. We'll see you next time on WILN. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Appliances are right over there, and this is part of our furniture department. Okay, but I'm looking for a mattress. Well, you've come to the right place. Grand Central is Northeast Pennsylvania's number one Sealy mattress dealer. We have Sealy mattress sets from only $199 and Stearns and Foster Queen sets from only $45 per month. We also have interest-free financing up to 60 months. And remember, delivery and takeaway are absolutely free. So we don't have to do anything? Not if you buy your Sealy mattress at Grand Central. It looks like I did find the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. Grand Central in Hazleton. The right Go hog wild for Iron Pigs Baseball. WYLN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs live. America's favorite pastime on your local network, WYLN TV 35. See the stars of tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WYLN TV 35. Visit WYLNTV.com for a complete Iron Pig schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WYLN, your home for live sports. Luzerne County's new website was up and running by late Wednesday afternoon. The new design was created to let visitors find any county function within three clicks of the mouse. According to Luzerne County Manager David Pedry, the site offers easier navigation and quicker access to information on county services. Kansas-based Civic Plus will be hosting and maintaining the site through July of 2021. Visitors to the site can find information on things like jury duty, applying for a weapons permit, and even looking up information about inmates at the county prison. The website also automatically will adjust to fit mobile devices. The American Red Cross is in urgent need of blood, and you can do your part to help out by participating in a blood drive scheduled for this Friday. The drive is open to the public and will take place Friday, tomorrow, July 13th, from 1 until 6 p.m. at the Hazleton Chapter of the Red Cross on Susquehanna Boulevard in West Hazleton. Now, walk-ins are welcome, or you can make an appointment by calling 570 793-6715, and as an added bonus, all donors receive a free admission ticket to Dorney Park or any Cedar Fair theme park. Stay with us, a look at today's weather is next, here on WILN News. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. 
The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicap accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about visiting a restaurant that has a unique flavor or a crazy food challenge? These are just some of the types of things that we will be featuring on our new show, Wine, Hops, and Road Stops. Jeff Bonomo, host of Off the Beaten Path, welcomes you into the world of craft beer, great wine, and good eats. Wine, Hops, and Road Stops. WYLN has strong ties to the community and it's committed to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helping Hand Society telethons. WYLN's commitment to Pennsylvania continues with the broadcast of Hazleton's Fun Fest Parade and the Christmas and St. Patrick's Day parades in Wilkes-Barre. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Giants to Spare Hill Climb. And throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other community events. WYLN, we're your local network. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC.org.
You're watching Monterey City's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.